Uh, hello viewers, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is what is infectious arthritis or uh, which is also known as septic arthritis. Now the septic arthritis is uh, the infection of one or more joints of uh, by the microorganisms, you know. And the septic arthritis can be caused by bacteria, by viruses and by fungi. And the risk factors uh, for the development of a septic arthritis include a patient who's taking immune suppression medications, you know, or the intra, uh, intravenous uh, drug abuse, you know, and, uh, and the past joint disease, injury or surgery, you know, and uh, any underlying medical condition, you know, including like diabetes or alcoholism or sickle cell anemia or uh, rheumatic diseases and uh, immune deficiency disorders, you know, like AIDS and HIV positive, you know. Now, with the septic arthritis, uh, uh, the patients uh, experience the symptoms and the signs that include like fever, chills, uh, joint pain, swelling, uh, redness of the joints, you know, uh, and the stiffness and warmth, you know. Uh, and uh, this type of the arthritis is diagnosed by identifying the infected joint fluid. Uh, so so uh, the fluid is aspirated and sent to the laboratory for the microscopic examination, you know. And once diagnosed, the treatment requires a patient to take antibiotics and uh, your doctor uh, may drain the fluid, you know, uh, uh, which is infected uh, in the joint, you know. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Thank you and goodbye.